Hi, and welcome to, or maybe even welcome back to my channel. I am Not That Steve from Dell, and today I want to give you a sneak preview of a device that has not yet hit the streets. It's due out mid May, and this is going to be a new entry into the Mobile Precision 5000 series. It is a 16 inch device. Being that 5000 series, you know it's going to be thin, you know it's going to be light, but you also know it's going to be packed full of technology. This is the Mobile Precision. 5680. So before we jump in, a quick little disclaimer. I do want to make it clear that I work for Dell, and I think that's pretty obvious. I say we a lot, but this channel is separate from my day job as a Dell Client Solutions Specialist. So any opinions that you hear here, you're here, you're here, may not necessarily be the opinions of Dell Corporate. That comes back to me. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the 5680. At first look, you will see a likeness to the larger XPS consumer devices. However, the 5680, unlike the 5570 and 5770, are not leveraged off the XPS line. Yes, there's a lot of similarity in the looks and the angles, but this device was actually built by the Precision team from the ground up. As we take a look at it next to the 5570, it's really not that much bigger on the X and Y measurements. The 5570, like many of the 15-inch laptops, is actually 15.6. There's a trend in the 16-inch form factor. You know, it seems like, you know, as bezels get thinner, the 16 is the new 15-inch. You saw this in the Dell 7000 series precision last year, and it moved from 15-inch to 16-inch in the Latitude 7000 series this year. And staying with the screen on the 5680, you're going to see it is a 16 by 10 aspect ratios, and there's going to be two offerings. One of those is going to be a 1920 by 1200 non-touch, and it's going to be a 500 nit screen. The other is going to be an OLED touch 3840 by 2400, and that is a 400 nit display. Up on the top, there is a full HD RGB IR camera with presence detection and an ambient light sensor. There is a no camera, no mic option for the Fed customers. Touchpad is all new this year and it's now a haptic touch. It was kind of described to me as feeling like typing on a cell phone, but when I actually got this device in my hands, it felt more like a traditional touchpad. If you didn't tell me it was haptic, I would have actually thought it was moving and clicking. As we look at the side view, we have the 5470 on the top. The 5680 here is the meat of this sandwich and the 5770, 17 inches here on the bottom. You'll notice it is a little bit thicker than that 17 inch, but keep in mind, the 5770 can't handle the RTX 5000 graphics cards. From a ports perspective, what we have is two Thunderbolt ports. These are type C. We have a full size HDMI port, a headset jack, and what is not pictured here is a smart card reader slot. Going to the other side, we have a USB type C, we have a lock slot, and then we also have a SD card reader. As we take a look at the processor offerings, there are going to be four. They are all gonna be 45 watt H-class processors, one i5, two i7s, and an i9 processor. The i5 is going to be a 12 core, 16 thread. The i7s and i9 will be a 14 core, 20 thread processor. Looking at the graphics, there are gonna be seven offerings all the way from integrated UMA to an RTX A1000 to an RTX 2000 ADA, an RTX 3500 ADA, an RTX 4000 ADA, and a full RTX 5000 ADA. That 5000 is going to offer you 16 gigs of video memory. I am hearing rumors of a 4090, but I think you're going to have to contact your inside sales team about that one. For storage and memory, the memory is going to be soldered down. It is going to be offered in three different sizes, a 16 gig, a 32 gig, and also a 64 gig. So looking at your storage option, it is going to come with two slots. These can be populated with up to four terabytes each for a total of eight terabytes of storage. Of course, it's going to come in a 256, a 512, a one terabyte and two terabyte size also. Peak of the thermals, 
There are two DOO fans, two heat pipes. These things are monsters. It's going to be moving a lot of air through here. As we move into the summer, the 15.6 inch 5570 and the 17-inch 5770 will sunset. So moving forward, the 5000 series with the 13th gen processors and that larger GPU stack will consist of a 14-inch offering and also this new 16-inch offering. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll try to get those answered. If there's anything you'd like me to dig deeper into, also drop it down there. I do plan on doing a couple more videos on the 5860. I am going to drop the uh, spec sheets along with the technical guidebooks down below also. Go out, grab those. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Hit me with a subscribe. It helps out the algorithms. Have a great day.